President Tsai Ing-wen announced today that visa-free status will be extended to Taiwan's six Pacific allies, to the delight of her host in the Marshall Islands. However, the news was overshadowed by political upheavals in the Solomon Islands, which is the third stop on her trip, where the prime minister is facing a vote of no confidence. However, uh, the Solomon Islands maintain that Tsai's visit will be unaffected by their domestic political turbulence. <laughs> Choir welcomed President Tsai into the Marshall Islands Parliament, where she gave an address. I also want to announce that in the near future, Taiwan will extend visa-free status to all the citizens of its six Pacific allies, including the Republic of the Marshall Islands. The representatives in attendance applauded the announcement, but in contrast to the peaceful and pleasant atmosphere in the Marshall Islands Parliament, the government of the Solomon Islands, which is Tsai's third stop on her tour, has fallen into crisis. Presently, the Solomon Islands cabinet is going through some political changes, but our understanding in every sense is that President Tsai's itinerary in the Solomon Islands is unchanged. The government and opposition there are in agreement that her visit is extremely important, and they're determined that only after her visit has successfully ended will they address their domestic political issues. In recent days, Foreign Minister David Lee has been continuously briefing the president on the political upheavals in the Solomon Islands. Seven of the nation's ministers, including Deputy Prime Minister Manasseh Melanga, have resigned, and the parliament is tabling a motion of no confidence in the Prime Minister Menasseh Sogavare, meaning the government is about to be completely shaken up.